Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. When you when you had to go to so you had to, I know you went to court and all that yeah, stuff. And, but, and, and, um, but I want to ask you about being a brother, and I don't know. People probably ask go. you this: being a brother, first time ever in that courtroom like that. Hmm. How did that? You, you see what I'm saying? Lost. Look, look wild, don't it? Lost. Uh. You think you back in the old King James days? You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm asking. You hear me? Uh. And not only that. It's, it's sad when people are speaking regular English, but you don't know what they're saying. It's tough, ain't it? Oh, it's real. I tell uh, Little Wayne told him a long time ago, people have mastered every language in this world. English, African, Chinese, French. The black man ain't mastered one language. Court talk. You need that. Need that. If you're going to live in a lifestyle, you need that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when you went in there, did, yes, you, you had a court-appointed lawyer? Did I you did, have? You know, you know, ain't nobody finna help person <laughs> bad ass. Who finna get person money? So that court appointed, what he tell you? You need to go on and take this. Well, number one, you know, he sucked my daddy. You know, I wasn't gonna, you know, my daddy, you know, black people back then, you know, you're ignorant to the law. It's your fault when you don't know it. Uh, I had to learn one thing back then. If you want to play the game, learn the rules. You want to be, you know, play football, learn, learn the rules. Basketball, learn what a foul is, learn the rules. Gangster, learn, learn the, the law. <laughs> learn the law. Yeah. Learn the rules to the law. And I, um, we didn't know the we didn't know the rules at the time. So anything sound good, we didn't know that they'll play tricks on anybody. We offered them ten years, but um, we'll we, we'll give them three. So don't take the three, take the three, take the three. They offered the ten. They called me ten, daddy. You know, ten, ten. But well, they gonna give you three, three. Take the three. I take the three. You know. Don't know you could have had just 30 days. Yep. 30 days if you'd have held out right. Just be quiet. Me? Yeah, if you, if you didn't, you know, daddy, they come, you know, because they didn't sold you, daddy. You know, I forgot. Damn, daddy, you look older than me. So you slave, you know, I'm still on slave level, but you on major slave level. <laughs> That's you know, not thing happening to me. <laughs> yes, sir. So yes, you sir. Took, you went in and signed them papers? I signed the three for the three. Um, what unit did um, you hit the first unit? The first unit I went, I went to um, Century Unit. Where Century no, Unit? No, 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 I went to Ramsey Unit. Ramsey, Ramsey Ro Unit. Rocher in Texas. Ramsey too. Ro shout out them boys on Ramsey. When you got there, what they say, you on the Ramsey Unit. Well, you know. You um, know, when you get out, when you yeah. got off the bus. Right. I'm talking about when you right. first got there. No, right. I ain't talking right. about you. Right, right. Because right. uh, let me tell you what happened was, I had that probation, right? For the Jew, for the, um, I had that probation for the injury to the child. And then I caught the, the, the two years, they, they really gave me, Two more years for the um the burglary, so they ran together and just gave me three. So to violate the thing, they had a thing come to Texas. The first Ann Richardson was the uh, lady in council at that time. Ann Richardson, the Ann best Richardson, thing going um, when it came down to the law, which a uh, I learned the law. Uh, Ann Richardson was handing out thirty one days for a year. You hear what I said? Mm -hmm. 30, that's it. She thirty one days, you get a year of credit. Just say if you got twenty five years, you got twenty five months. That's 31 days. That's what 31 days for you. But uh, she had a thing came to town. It was the first thing that ever hit Texas. It was called the penitentiary boot camp system. And it was called 90 days. If a nigga could yeah, survive. Yeah, you turn around. Yeah, you get in there. You can see if you can survive that 90 days and come on home. See, you, 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 you be free. They start you back over. They won't, you won't have to go to the penitentiary. But you still got to go back on probation. But you got to go back on the probation. That's it. T that was a, that was a catch twenty two. That's a catch twenty two. Yeah, I know it. But say back then it just back sounds then, good. Yeah, sound good. Sound good. They're playing with it. So um, I said the boot camp. I said, oh hell no, nah. I'm gonna take the penitentiary time. She said, she said, but you go to boot camp do ninety days. They they gave you three years. You can do ninety days. Shit, ninety I'm doing days, it. three days, three years. But watch them. See how they played me. Y'all didn't, didn't hear the game, though. Yeah, I already know. You, you take the 90 days to no. three years? No, damn well, I'm taking 90 days. I'm not taking it. I'm yeah, taking it. Taking. I, ain't, I'm pro, I hate probation. I'm not taking it. Okay. But the I 90 days, you it. still got to come back on probation. Yeah, but so I'm, not, I'm standing in jail. They said, you can see, you can catch the catch I'm, I'm going to fuck up again. I just said Ann Richardson was giving out 31 days for a year. Y'all for me 90 days. But that, that didn't match up, did it? Yeah. They, they, it just sound good. You know what I'm saying? It was easy. It was going to be the 90 days any goddamn way I took it. You took your shit. Uh. Three months was the three years <laughs> for the TDC. I could have got there and got the That would have been better. I could have got there and got the $150 and went on back to the house. Yep, with no probation. But the 90 days and, 100, and three years, I take the 90 days. Play. Damn. Ran with it. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> Ran with it. But anyway. Everybody was doing it, though. Yeah, you know, everybody getting sucker because they didn't know the law. They didn't know the law. And, the kid, and guess what? Uh, and these days and time, it catches up with you. Yeah. Oh, ain't no Ann Richard. She did. That's old. Oh, and you ain't, it's called Sharon Wilson now. 
It's called, you know, big time DAs now. It's called, yeah, the top of the line now. You on you ain't know they law, they playing. Oh, what? 90 days, 90. <laughs> nah, you'll never know until you get there. How long did you stay out when you when you got back? Oh man, I had a um Cause you went and did the shock probation. I had I had I had an institutionalized problem. Or boot camp. I had institutionalized myself. Um I, I got out. I didn't stay out for about what when I came home, shit. I didn't stay out again. I told a lady that I came home smoking weed and <laughs> you know, youngster like I, I was I was a rascal, damn fool, ignorant. Uh, didn't curl. I told this lady straight up that I'm gonna smoke my weed and she couldn't tell me what to do. I told my same thing. I told See, my, look, I, I listen. You I look t- like you would do that. You look like you would do that. No, because I play the system. I, I, know, I heard you. I heard I, you. I'm finna tell you exactly what I did. I had caught a uh, two aggravated so I was dealing with them. I got them dropped to a misdemeanor. And they told me I could do it up to a year in jail. And me thinking, you're not gonna do a whole year in jail. So when I signed probation, I told mm-hmm. the woman, I wouldn't have seen her for the first month. I went for the second month. I said, ma'am, I ain't coming back. She's like, what you mean, Moses? I said, ma'am, I ain't coming back. She's like, why? I said, she said, come back. I said, all right. I called her. I called her and said, hey, I texted, I text, I mean, I texted uh, the, uh, the judge, too. I texted, I'm not coming back to court. I don't care what y'all say. I'm not coming back. I don't care what y'all do, how y'all, how y'all figure out. I'm not coming. She like, Moses, just come back. I said, okay. I came back. I said, look, I delete your number. I delete this number. I'm not coming back. She said, okay, I'll see you back next morning. I said, all right, watch this. Never showed up. Three years later, they finally caught me. I did 30 days, for now 45 days in jail, and I was back free. That part. That part. I'm not taking probation no yeah. more, because uh, I know what it's going to do to you. So yeah, they're not going to do yeah. nothing to you at all. Probation is a setup for incarceration. Yep, exactly what it is. Probation is a setup for incarceration. Uh, it's a setup for every black man that takes it. Hold on, but then this is how, how I beat them. I ain't tell you this. How I beat them was when I took the the uh, the, 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 the aggravated side with their weapons. It was a felony. I made them drop to a misdemeanor, then sign for misdemeanor probation instead of uh, felony probation. Okay, take care of your business. So I made him do that because <laughs> they kept telling me. They kept telling me we got you on this uh case. I said, I said, no, y'all don't, man. Stop playing me. No, y'all don't. I had, I had a, uh, 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 a court appointed lawyer. I'm telling them what to do because I already know the case already. Because I know what what happened on the field. I know what happened on the field. You ain't had me on nothing because I didn't do all that. Which I said I did. So I knew I was in the clear already. So I was like, you ain't got me on nothing. Whatever we're gonna do. I told him. I said, go on there and sign for probation. I mean, give me probation. Miss me probation. He said, you can't do it, sir. I said, all right. Next court date. I said, you going to get it for me? He said, nope. I said, I'll see you again. Came yeah. back. I got it for you, Moses. Yeah, they play with No, you're not going to play me like that. I said, I know y'all. We, y'all playing for I mean, y'all y'all going to hurt us if we don't say nothing. If we say something, then they're going to speak up for us. But if we don't say nothing, they're not going to do nothing at all. Nah, they're going to hurt know. you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.